Hey, people of YouTube again. This time I want to share with you, which will be provided by a link down below, and it's what I would consider almost a secret documentary about myself, which I did in 2013. And the backdrop was basically this. I basically said, hey, <laughs> my nephew, I had go along with me to the Kong Off 2, I think it was, in Denver, Colorado. I was going for two different world records. One was the marathon world record, and the other one was the five-man world record. This was in Donkey Kong 3 for both. And at the time, I would say for that game, I was as good as I've ever been. And I had played and just basically practiced for this, um, this going there, and I spent like... I spent a ton of time. There was sometimes I would play the game and get like a spend like, like three and a half hours on one marathon game and then play another marathon game on top of that and play another three and a half, four hours. And then I did that again. The next day I would play two marathon games and spend seven, eight hours every single day. I think I did that for about a few weeks. But then, <laughs> then my finger, though, my right finger started, like, twitching and stuff like that. It was like, okay, <laughs> my hand was starting to break down from playing the game constantly, day after day after day after day. And so I was like, okay, 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 I get it. I'm going to back off on this, and I'll just play five man and maybe practice on Donkey Kong Jr. because I was going for Donkey Kong Jr. as well. But... And Donkey Kong Jr. is a lot easier to play. You don't have to hit the button like a million times in a row in Donkey Kong Jr. Donkey Kong 3, you're constantly hitting the spray button and moving everywhere. It's a very hectic game for anyone that's played it. So at the time, I was primed. I was the best I've ever been at Donkey Kong 3. And I decided, hey, come with me to... The Kong Off, which will be in Denver, and I'd like you to videotape it. You and you can have the hotel room. Don't worry about any ex any expenses. Just videotape what you can. So, out of that came a thirty-five minute video, and so there were a couple of moments in the documentary. It's like, ah, oh, this is sort of embarrassing, but I was like. <laughs> I wanted people to find the video on its own. And so I didn't tell anyone. I just, I didn't tell my gaming friends. I didn't go to any forum. I didn't go to Facebook. I went nowhere. My nephew put that video on his channel. And he even put, the title is, This Is My Game. So there's no mention of Donkey Kong 3. There's no mention of my name. And it just says, this is my game. You have no idea. It's a music channel. Every other video he has is a music channel. So people see this and we're like, what the freak is this? This is like completely out of character with his whole entire channel. Still, I thought it was a decent documentary. I just didn't tell anyone about it. So I kept it on the down low. So I decided, since I'm a little bit... In the past year, I, I really grew big time. I have now 1,800 followers. What the heck? I'm pretty sure I can get 100 more views for this video. <laughs> Maybe not like a whole bunch of views, but still. I think I now have the power just by mentioning this video, putting the link below. I think I can get this video 100 more views. So... This is my secret documentary that I kept just basically, it was available on YouTube all this time. I just didn't tell anyone about it. And I don't think anyone who actually saw this video knew what they were saying. They probably clicked out of it right away saying, what the freak, this isn't a song. 
<laughs> why am I watching this? So there you go. I'll put the link down below so you can check out the video that's on my nephew's channel. Have a good one, people of YouTube. Bye-bye.